Morning guys. Hi. Uh, what did you say at the start of your vlog? Stay positive. No, that's the end. It's another beautiful day. It's Which, actually a beautiful day. Yeah. We're off to get some breakfast. We're going to go get some croissants and pan triplas and stuff. Basically the same place I went to with Frank ages ago. Like midnight pizza vlog. Like Damn. all the yeah. OG watchers know about that. All the regulars. So yeah. I made uh, Ned sleep on the sofa last night because he's a uh, hobo. <laughs> but I had a good night's sleep, it's all good. We had to go to MS instead because all the crosses had run out in the um, French shop. Slightly bummed out about that because the crosses in the French shop are so nice. Welcome to Breakfast with Benji. On today's episode, we're going to eat breakfast with Benji. I'm going to tell you how to eat your croissant whilst not opening it, but enjoying it with jam. Firstly, you break a bit off your croissant. Then, you, you dunk your croissant into your pre-positioned jam on the plate. <laughs> so there's a good helping of jam on there. This is where you don't want to get too messy. So you lean your head forward over your plate and eat. Christoph has also rocked up and he's having breakfast with us as well. Cooking with Chris. Line a uh, tray with uh, some butter and then stick it in the bottom. Nice. Stick in the microwave for about half an hour. <laughs> Christoph, <laughs> it's go time. Christoph is getting his head trim. How are you feeling today? You look like a lollipop. Feeling nervous. Should be. Because you got Ned at the wheel. <laughs> Ned at the blade. This is good. Me and Crystal started this haircut, and I thought before I mess it up, we might as well just go to the barbers and get it done, and I'm gonna get a haircut as well. So that's what we're doing. And then we're meeting up with Humana, and I think Humana's bringing one of her friends, but I'm not too sure. With Humana now. Hello! And uh, it's taking ages to get our haircut. Like, there's a massive queue, so. They need one though. Look. Yeah, I know. It's a mock. <laughs> We finished up our haircuts. That took a lot longer than we thought, and Humana joined us halfway through. And now we're going up to Wimbledon because we might go in and get a grounds pass, or we might go get something to eat, or I don't know. No, we are getting something to okay, eat. Okay, we are getting something to eat, but uh, we'll just play it by ear. We're on the bus on our way to Wimbledon because we couldn't be bothered to walk. Yesterday I was saying that my life was random. It really is random. I did not expect to be coming to Wimbledon today, but we were just gonna get some lunch, but now we're going to Wimbledon. We got like our past things. So yeah. Back to my house, then we're gonna go to the pub to watch football. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do some storytelling. Yeah, story time. <laughs> Once upon a time. 
<laughs> so back at my place now, Benji went to go see his ex-girlfriend. Because <laughs> they bumped into each other at Wimbledon. We're going to chill here for a bit and then we're going to go to a pub in Putney called the Coat and Badge to watch the Euros game. Wales versus Portugal. Before I forget, I want to do a quick shout out to Henry Bray and Ed Beckel who randomly bumped into us. These are two guys from my school who randomly bumped into us. I was like, hey Ned, and got us into court one. Um, we literally only had ground tickets, which means that you can only watch like small games of tennis, but they got us into court one, was, which was pretty sick. So thanks to you two. Christoph and I and Kimana are on our way to the pub now in Putney. <laughs> Watching the game. Neil Neil right now. What, did, you, did you get anything funny? You can't see it. Huh? Okay, so basically, Max and Jimena didn't have their IDs on them. And so the I, I did. the bouncers kicked them out, but I got to keep my drink. And Chris got to keep his drink, but Max and Jimena was like, they, they came up to me and was like, you need to leave. I was like, oh, fuck. So yeah, we're going down to the river and we'll just go to a pub down there instead. Living the underage life. Please. They're all just sitting on a bench, drinking. Fun times. We're pretty sad, but it's really beautiful. Look. Get a poto. Get a poto. Poto. Photo. Poto. Photo. We'll get a poto photo. Poto photo. 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 We've uh, strolled over to Benji's house. Oh, the light. And uh, my speaker, I've got this my is speaker. the squad. Oh, yeah. He's just upstairs. Oh, I've made a big rookie error. So I put all my stuff in Humana's bag, like, because she had a handbag, and I didn't want to have my pockets full. And now she's left, and I completely forgot, and all my stuff's in her bag, like my wallet, my keys. So what I've got to do is I've got to go home, get on my motorbike, go to her house, or maybe Max's house, because I think Max is taking it all. And I've got to go pick it all up. After all the kerfuffle, I'm back home now. Let's face it, we're both exhausted. I'm going to leave it here. See you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys had a really good day. Sorry this vlog's going to be up late. And uh, three, two, one. Cue the outro. outro.